pretty proud of myself here. Original equipment was, in fact, NGK, just exactly freaking like it. Time to change them out. No difference in that product except one's old and one's new. It's a beautiful day under the shade trees here in Eugene. A little warmer, a little more cozy, high humidity, not pouring rain, at least at the moment. Of course, any day in Oregon, we got some kind of chance during the wintertime, but it won't be too bad. And today up on the deck, we have a 2014, if I remember right, Honda here. And it's here for its 100,000 mile spark plug change, as well as some wiper blades and an air filter. So we got it, Oregon grade best, Trico Ultra for the front. That's going to make a big difference over these slappy happy beam types. These were not bad to begin with. I'm sure they paid quite a bit for that. These are inexpensive because we order them. You know, that'd be a $40, $50 wiper blade each at the parts store. They're like 10 bucks. Air filter, we went with AC Delco. Plugs, NGK Laser Iridium High Ignitability should be the original equipment manufacturer on that. And as you can see, with a Honda like this, service could not be easier. Just look at that, folks. Four coil packs just staring at me. 10 millimeter nut or bolt on each one. A little wire plug to take care of. I do not see terrible valve cover leakage. This should not have a spark plug tube seal issue the way that engine is designed. So I don't think we really need to do anything else. As I advise the customer, a lot, a lot of them when we're doing the 10 year coil or spark plug change, I want to go ahead and do the coil packs too. In this case, they're so easily accessible. If it needs them, we'll do them, but not until kind of deal. I think this will make a big difference. Initial inspection, looks like it's time for a serpentine belt. I believe one of my headlight specials would make a big difference in the way the car looked and how well they could see. New air filter is going to take care of things today. It's an older car battery, but it appears to still be new in the job. With these little bitty guys, it's no problem. I never have liked how that works on these Hondas. Never, never, never. But initial inspection shows everything's good. So on this, we're going to have to let it cool off. I want to give it at least 20 to 30 minutes to ease itself there so that these spark plugs do not cinch extra tight as it cools. But we will begin with the wiper blades in the next clip. Well, that was quick. Wiper blades installed. You'd think I'd have done that a few times before. As this is a Honda and has the odd outboard and outboard arrangement, you do have to flip your mechanism or else you'll have a wiper blade that wants to climb up the windshield the faster you go. But got that taken care of. You can see what they had on there was a top quality Duralast products, like the best they sell. And you know what? They were still holding together. We still got wiper blades all the way to the edges and ends. But no doubt about it, that made a nice clean spot on the windshield on my test run there. So those work great. That is the Trico Ultra. Now, they have a new set. I forget if they said they are ceramic or what. I have ordered them for another car. There's one upgrade above this now, supposedly. So, we'll be trying out, here in Oregon, the most badass MF wiper blades I can possibly get my hands on is the correct answer each and every single time. So, on next to the air filter on this one, we've got ourselves a top quality AC Delco unit. Chevrolet dealership style. Hopefully it fits. I believe it will. I know this will be a good quality. One thing I would like to note, I believe that a lot of oil consumption, bad rings, and poor compression found in modern cars are the result of quick lube shops selling cheap-ass air filters that don't filter microparticulates. Order your own damn air filters, folks. They're like 10 bucks each for the best one you can get versus paying quick lube $40, $50 to change the thing out with a POS that's like a cotton ball. So... We're going to get this one out, this one in, and see how nasty it is. Knowing these folks, it's probably not so bad, but things have surprised me before. Well, folks, this one that come out of there look almost brand new, right? And we hold it up to the light, if there is such a thing, and you can see that there is light flow through that filter, so that's almost new to the point that I want to check my snorkel tubes and make sure they're fully attacked and attached on this bad boy, and they appear like they are. That being said, we just got done talking about it. I like high quality air filters, so that's what we're gonna put in it. It was worth their investment. They just know it's good as of today. So we're gonna go ahead and get that sat in there and closed. AC Delco for the win. 
While the engine was cooling, I took the time to clean things up with a rag and mineral spirits and my vacuum cleaner here, make sure no debris. I mean, I've seen cleaner, but that looked pretty damn good for a basic spark plug change. Next part, I'm pretty proud of myself here. Original equipment was in fact NGK, just exactly freaking like it. Time to change them out. No difference in that product except one's old and one's new. So happy there. Got that all cleaned up, cleaned up my coil packs. We're not going to swap them this time. There's no misfire. There's no reason to. Got them looking pretty marked for the future. I've got my cover cleaned off. So it's starting to sprinkle rain on me and it's just cooled off enough on that engine to do it. Let me go ahead and knock this one out and put it on the road. All right, folks, ain't that some pretty work? We got our coil packs installed, everything marked, cleaned up all that cover, even cleaned the dust shield a little bit. So just overall curb appeal, yeah. That looks happy from just a wipe down. I mean, of course I can get it cleaner, but that's when you pay me to do the valve cover gasket, which at this time is not leaking. We did give it my mark, WJ plugs at 102,281, January 24. I'll have to let the customer know that don't lower your value. That just makes it real easy to tell what the hell done. If they don't like it, I got stickers that go over that. They'll be happy though. Let's crank this bad boy up. She's a nice running car now. It wasn't running bad before, but I can tell the difference in it just instantaneously so now the service reminders are still on in the car i'm gonna leave that on because i didn't change the oil and i don't want the oil change stuff to be wrong it is showing me low prior pressure so i'm going to get out my compressor and make sure all that's good um also we got a little bit of a backup camera crooked i'm going to see if i can't tie that down for the customer a little bit better but all in all happy buzzy honda New plugs, good for another 100,000 miles. All right, that one's ready to rock, and I threw in a couple of bonus services. Hubcaps had were on incorrectly clocked and were pushing down on the tire stems. I fixed that up for them. Tire pressure warning is going off on the car. All the tires are at the correct pressure, so that's going to be a dead battery or sensor. They are having some crazy backup camera was pointing the wrong direction and flopping around and moving around. It's missing a clip. I got out two self-sapping screws and the power driver and said, let that problem be gone. It is slightly off-center, but it isn't jiggling around making you think you're in outer space anymore. Definite improvement. On this one, my next recommendations after a short test drive, brakes feel relatively good. That's been addressed. I believe I can clean up some of the skid plate stuff for them a little bit. I mean, not much there to worry about, but big, cheap, easy, major facelift. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Them's pretty yellowy and, you know, not get producing as much light as we'd like. It looks way worse in person than it does in front of the car. I mean, it's not that bad. I've definitely seen worse. Honda, more expensive than Toyota. It'll run about $150 to get both of those bad boys and then some ultra bright bulbs. But I bet they'll swing for it. I mean, it makes sense for the car. it bring up the curb appeal. And, you know, you want to see out here in Eugene, it's dark. So that's a happy one all done. Brand new NGK spark plugs installed, air filter, and some badass organ grade wiper plates. I'll call that a day's work and clean up my stuff.